Number 2 in a pickup game of dorm shuffleboard, students crazed by final exams use a broom to propel a calculus book along the dorm hallway. If the 3.5 kg book is pushed from rest through a distance of 0.9 meters by the horizontal 25 N force from the broom and then has a speed of 1.6 meters per second, what is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the book and the floor? So let's first make some drawing so we, we can understand what's happening here. So let's say this is our floor and this is our book. And it says that we have a force which is equal to 25 newtons. We also know that we push the book through 0 0.9 meters. So let's call this delta x, which is equal to 0 0.9 meters. And when the book arrives here, its speed is equal to 1.6 meters per second. So this is the information that we ha we have and we want to find out the coefficient of kinetic friction between the book and the floor. Okay, so the second thing that we're going to do here is to draw the free body diagram. So, okay, so let's say this is our book. We have a force to the right, which is equal to 25 newtons. We also have a friction force to the left, which is equal to, we don't know its value, so let's just say it's F. We can also add the gravitational force over here and the normal force upwards. Let's say green. Okay. So this is our free body diagram. So our goal here is to find the coefficient of kinetic friction. So the only thing here that carries the coefficient of kinetic friction, of course, it is the friction force. So we have to use the friction force. We don't know how in principle. So we, we have to use the friction force to find the coefficient of kinetic friction. So let's apply Newton's second law to the x direction. So let's say to the right is the positive direction of the x axis. So Let's remember that Newton's second law says that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. So we have the dark blue force minus the friction force. This is equal to mass times acceleration. And we know that F is just F, we know its value. And since the box is moving, the friction force is given by the kinetic, kinetic friction force, which is equal to kinetic mu times the normal force. And this is equal to mass times acceleration. So let's just circle the things that we don't know. So we know this value over here. We don't know this value over here. We don't know this value. We know the mass of the book and we don't know the acceleration. Okay, so we have one equation and three things that we don't know. We cannot solve this at this moment. Uh, however, the normal force is pretty easy to find because we know that they cancel each other. The gravitational force and the normal force will cancel each other in this case. So the normal force is equal to mass times the gravity acceleration. So we have that F minus mu kinetic times m times g is equal to mass times acceleration. So now the only thing that we don't know is the coefficient of kinetic friction and the acceleration. So if we can find the acceleration, we can find the coefficient of kinetic friction. And we are going to find acceleration by using one of the three equations for constant acceleration. So since the forces are always the same, so the, this force over here doesn't change, this force over here doesn't change as well, so we can use this equation over here. V squared is equal to VO squared plus 2 times A delta X. So the initial speed is zero, so we can cross this out. We know this, the value of V, 
which is this purple value over here, 1.6, and we also know delta x. So the only thing that we don't know in this equation is the acceleration. So we can find the acceleration from this equation over here and throw it over there, and then we can find the coefficient of kinetic friction. So let's isolate the acceleration over here. So the acceleration is equal to v squared over 2 times delta x. This is going to be 1.6 squared divided by 2 times 0 0.9. And this is going to give us roughly 1.4 meters per second squared. And now that we have the acceleration, we can calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction. Let's just isolate it from this equation. So the mu kinetic is going to be equal to F minus M times A divided by M times G. And if you just replace the letter by the numbers here, because you have everything, this is 25, this is 3.5, the acceleration is 1.4, gravity is 9.8, and then you will find 0 0.58, and we don't have a unit here, so that's the answer, 0 0.58.